In order for Video Station to correctly identify and categorize a movie file, that video file needs to use a specific naming convention. For a movie, the file name should consist of the movie's title, followed by a space, an open bracket, the date that the film was released, a closed bracket, a full stop, and then the file extension. For a television show, the file name should consist of the show's title, followed by a full stop, the letter S followed by the series number, another full stop, then the letter E followed by the episode number, and a final full stop followed by the file extension. So you can imagine that if all of the episodes for a television series have been incorrectly named, it will take a considerable amount of time to individually change the file names for each episode in that series. Luckily, for anyone facing this problem on their Synology NAS, built into macOS is a function that will allow us to rename multiple files. If we open the network share to the video folder stored on our NAS, and then find the television series which has been incorrectly named, you can see that we have 12 episodes which Video Station is not able to correctly identify. Let's start by first ordering these files into a list. Now using the mouse pointer, we need to highlight the first file. As we need to copy this file's name, if we press the right mouse button for a second time, we can edit the file name. However, rather than editing the name, we want to highlight everything except the episode number. We now need to copy what we have highlighted. By pressing the left mouse button on our mouse, or by holding down the control key on our keyboard and pressing our mouse button, a quick menu will be displayed. From within the quick menu, we need to select copy. We now need to highlight all of the episodes. The easiest way to do this is to highlight the first episode in the list and then hold down the shift key on our keyboard. Now with the mouse pointer, if we select the last file in the list, all of the files will become highlighted. Now if we place our mouse pointer over our highlighted files, and once again display a quick menu. From within the quick menu, we need to select the option Rename Items. When we select Rename Items, a window will open. From the drop down menu, there are three different rename options Replace Text, Add Text, and Format. We need to use Replace Text. Now from within the Find field, we need to display a quick menu and select Paste. In the Replace With field, we need to enter the name of the television show, followed by a space. Then if the TV show is a reboot, we need to open a bracket, type the year the series started, close the bracket, then enter a full stop, the letter S followed by the series number, add another full stop, then add the letter E. If we now select Rename, our computer will automatically rename all of the files that we've selected. Video Station will now re-index these files and should display the correct poster art and metadata for this television show.